I have a review for a 3D editor. You can create basic 3D animations such as perhaps a 3D intro for a video or a YouTube video. It's called Cinemax and it's only available for Mac. So Cinemax has been around for a little while. It's version 1.9. Let's just take a look at the interface to begin with. Here we have your basic pointer tool your zoom tool and a pen tool and here you have some 2D tools such as 2D text or circles then you have 3D objects including 3D text and there's a ball and a box there and some more advanced ones including the ability to use an external 3D file such as one perhaps uh, created in Blender 3D and saved as an object file it also supports .3ds 3D files as well which is very good. Then you can create a folder which will create a folder down here in the timeline that you can organize your objects a little better with. Create a camera or multiple cameras. Create a light or multiple light sources. A path. A script using Apple script. Your basic rewind, fast forward, play and pause buttons. Then there is a full screen. However it's not your native Mac OS 10 full screen option that was first introduced with 10.7 Lion. It, 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 it is its own full screen mode. You then have single view, sort of group stage, or let me show you, like that. Let me bring that back over. Right. Then there is single window. So at the moment I'm on single window. So you have one preview area that you, where you can also drag and drop and arrange objects, or you can click this button, and you can see your object from multiple angles, such as top, bottom, left, right, whatever. You then have font, which brings up OS X's native font dialog, or OS X's native color dialog with this button here. This button here with the little eye for inspector gets rid of the right sidebar. So let's take a look at that right sidebar to now. To begin with you have your stage and background settings which is under the first tab. Here you can select a preset for various sizes including standard definition NTSC or PAL standard definition. Then there's various other options right up to 1080p or you can manually type in the height and width. You can even display TV safe area there and adjust its size. For the background you can use a fill gradient or none then you select its color using the native dialog. There, but if you want to get a little bit more technical, a little bit flashier with your background you can actually select a still image file or actually a move-in movie file so you could have a video file playing in the background. You can have your anti-aliasing on or off and you can select from good all the, way, all the way up to best. You then have the master volume, a, a box to tick for automate media textures and animation duration in seconds or ticks depending upon what you set in your preferences. Let me just quickly create an object. Okay, I've created a sphere, or you could call it a ball. Now let's go to the next tab. Here is the parameters for that object, such as position, the rotation, and the size. Then you have texture. You can texture the whole thing, the inside, the outside, the left side or the right side independently, the top and bottom independently. Let's just select external, double click. Then you can select a still image you've already imported, or you can just select a color. So let's make it red. There. There's various other options here, including for movies. Next, we have some more object parameters. So you've got start horizontal angle, the horizontal angle, the start vertical angle, the vertical angle, and the internal radius, as well as some more options down lower. Then alignment to change the alignment on the stage. 
then you have the list of any light sources you have put on the stage in this case I have two by default using that ball you can turn each one on or off independently or delete them or create more let's just select one and here you can see as well as turning it on or off you can select if it's a bulb, spot or infinite light and there's various other options to do with its position its rotation and its color there so you can have it normal white light or you could even have it say bright bright red or bright pink or bright yellow whatever then we have script options to do with Apple script and you can select none or you can select at the start of the spire or end of the spire or user when user hits a key or when the user clicks on the object you can assign what key then then you can select what the action is to do here you have a list of spire presets in the library at the moment there's only cinemac spin logo so that basically spins the object then you have your file browser which is so you can easily find say an image file and drag and drop it it's just a sort of a quick way of doing an open I don't tend to use file browsers much I know a lot of programs such as iPhoto do have them but I just don't tend to use them then down here as I mentioned you have your standard timeline and the objects can be shortened in length for how long you want to display them for or if you don't want it to start right at the beginning you can select where you want to start it if you have more than one object they will be listed here the options up here are all fairly standard different views different things for animation including playback from the beginning instead of where you left off in your timeline all of these here are the type of things you can get to from here anyway then under file you can save save as edit its metadata make a player and what that does is it creates a standalone application that you can share with other Mac users to distrib distribute the, the animation while anybody needing any other software you can save the spire you can export your animation then as a movie such as a H.264 movie or a single still frame and update you can under preferences you can check for an update to the software you can choose to save the 2d text as a PDF you can allow it to save a thumbnail and preview for quick look within the file or not and save it metadata within the file then under general you have auto scroll spiral window you can have the ruler units as ticks or seconds you have a wireframe line width that's default the object selection so when you click on an object should it highlight an orange which is default or a different color apply this is version 1.9 from what I can tell that was released in 2012 so it hasn't been updated for a few years however it is still kind of current in a way because I contacted them about doing a review for this and they did reply so they obviously still support it uh, the trouble is when programs aren't updated for a while it makes them look like they're dead even when they aren't also I do feel this could be updated because the interface looks a little dated now the icons such as on the toolbar there all look like they're from 2000, say, say 2004 uh, so the interface looks a little dated it's not on the Mac App Store which I really think they should do I think they should add it to the Mac App Store because I think a lot of people that have never heard of this program will then hear about it and maybe buy it also it's full screen is not native Mac OS 10 full screen mode it is its own I'd like it to switch to the native full screen option let me just quickly show you a similar program to show you the difference in the interface and what I mean now this is a program I've reviewed previously called animationist it's not exactly the same because it is to create 2d animations for say YouTube video intros so it's for a similar idea except this one's 2d and Cinemac is th 3d now if you look at the buttons and the just the general interface it looks a lot sort of more polished and newer and then if you look at Cinemac it does look very dated now 
so I would really like to see an update to its interface I would like native full screen support and I would like to see it added to the Mac App Store but there is a trial available so I recommend you go check out the trial and to make up your mind for sure if you want to get it or not and you can try it out please like and share this video and if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe it only takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot thanks